Being able to stream content from the internet has changed the way that we watch movies, TV, and listen to music. No longer do we have to deal with cumbersome CDs and DVDs that take up a lot of space. This convenience is due in large part to the hardware that we use to listen to said media, whether it's a Roku, Fire Stick, a smart TV, anything like that. Today we're going to look at a piece of hardware that is quickly gaining popularity in those looking for more than just a basic streaming box. The X8T is a small, low-powered, and inexpensive computer running a skin of Android that's aimed at media consumption. The hardware inside definitely won't turn any heads as its measly 1 gig of RAM, 8 gigs of storage, and quad-core processor won't be able to multitask and play demanding games well at all. But for under 40 bucks, what do you expect? The X8T comes with an extremely basic media remote lacking functionality such as play, pause, and skip, but fortunately at least it does have volume. Furthermore, the remote is strictly IR, meaning that you have to have direct line of sight during all times of use, and the remote does need two AAA batteries that it does not come with. For I.O., we see two USB ports, perfect for a mouse, keyboard, or controller. I would highly recommend an HTPC-style keyboard, as typing with the included remote is garbage. Moving on, there's also some micro SD expansion, which you're definitely going to need if you plan on storing any type of movies, music, or pictures or anything like that as that 8 gigs of storage will not last you very long. Moving around to the back we find AV out, optical audio out, 100 meg LAN port, an HDMI output which does 1080p at 60Hz max, and finally the power input. If you don't have access to a LAN wire you can always connect wirelessly. And lastly the front of the unit has a small display with a clock and Wi-Fi indicator. So moving on, the box does run a very recent version of Nougat and due to this reason it's going to allow you to sign in with your Google Play account and download pretty much anything you want from that Google Play Store as there's just loads of content. So for example you can download Kodi, YouTube, Hulu, Amazon Music, or some basic games. Now unfortunately you're not going to find Netflix in the Google Play Store on this device because Netflix now requires uh, verified devices that are not rooted so you're not going to be able to use Netflix natively but if you want to be tech savvy and get netflix on there you can download the apk and install it manually so i've been using this tv box for about a week and there's some points i'd like to hit that i do not like about this product number one if you do intend to use cody which tons of people do because it gives you access to tons of free content do so at your own risk this is copyrighted content that you're not paying for number two decent google cast support would be great the included Faco Miracast is garbage. The lag is terrible. It's like 10 to 20 seconds behind what you're doing on your phone, and the audio just constantly cuts out. It's a horrible experience. Do not like. Number three, there is no Bluetooth. No Bluetooth chip inside, so you can't connect any headphones, keyboard, mouse, anything like that. You're going to have to connect stuff with a wireless dongle. And finally, number four, the remote is basic. I would have loved to see something more media-centric, since that's the whole idea that this thing is coming at us with media, consumption, we need a better remote. Moving on, here's what I do like. Number one, complete access to the Google Play Store is fantastic. You can download anything you want, and it's pretty much like having a tablet connected to your TV. It's great. Number two, video playback is the highlight of this product. It doesn't take a lot of processing power to do that, so it does it pretty well. Number three, although the hardware is underpowered, it's great for running older titles on emulators for a cheap retro gaming computer. Furthermore, easy to run 2D games like Angry Birds are not really limited by the internals and it could be a really easy way to get your kids off your phone. To sum up my thoughts, the X8T is a product that doesn't have that nice shiny finish. It's quirky and can be annoying to use sometimes, but at the same time, this little computer gives you the unrestricted freedom to do whatever you want. So with that being said, if you're looking for something to just play YouTube or Netflix without hassle, go buy a Chromecast or a Roku or something like that. This product doesn't do those things specifically very well as those do, and if that's what you're looking for, go buy those things. But uh, if you're looking for something that can give you unrestricted experience, the XAT is a great buy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was one of the longer reviews. I tried to make something you know a little bit different, so let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for checking this out. Have a great day.